Hello YouTube, here's a little heads up on a proof of concept for one of my DIY projects. It's a uh, LED strip control system based on uh, uh, Raspberry Pi and Adafruit 16 channel 12 bits PVM servo driver. Uh, in front of us we have two different breadboards. Uh, this one holds the feed circuit for the LED strip itself. This were meant to be a proper RGB LED strip, which it's not. This one is pure white. Uh, luckily though it holds SMD 5050 LEDs, which means that each LED is actually three LEDs. One LED for each color channel, red, green, blue. So it might be possible for me to show you uh, dimming each color channel individually using the touch control system. Uh, we'll see how well it shows up in this video. It would have been much easier with a proper uh, RGB LED strip. My proper strips are on in transit. Hopefully they will arrive in a week or two. We'll see about that. Anyhow, uh, this second breadboard holds the control circuit for a momentarily capacitive touch sensor which is built around Amtel's little beautiful chip called AT42QT1010. Uh, there is also a little green LED on the uh, breadboard itself indicating when the touch panel which is the blue square is actually touched. Uh, the black ice hockey puck is just providing us with a, with a touch surface a bit away from the plate surface itself. This is due to I have tuned this sensor to be fairly sensitive as I'm, I, I'm, I plan to mount it behind a wooden panel uh, to act as a hidden touch area. Anyhow, uh, so let's get on with it. Um, the touch control system has a a touch pattern recognition system, um, which gives us the possibility to control the LED strips uh, stripes in uh, in uh, in um, different manners. Uh, for example, one single touch toggles on and off and uh, a long touch will, if it's turned on, if you toggle on, it will dim the LED strip and so on and so on. So if I toggle it on, see that works and uh, now it's really really dimmed down as I didn't want to to shock you with a bright light. So if we want to dim this we give it a long touch and it will dim up to 100% and down to 0% and, and so on until I let go. And we're gonna let go when it's fairly low. There we are. As I toggle it off, it stores the uh, RGB uh, channel configuration. <laughs> uh, uh, so when I toggle it back on, it will toggle back on. Uh, at the same with the same configuration, so if I just show this, let's get a bit brighter. Toggle it off. Toggle it back on. It goes back to where it was. Um, if I give it two quick touches, it will go up, showing 100%. And we can dim that down. Two quick touches, it goes back up again. To full power. I don't know if this is actually showing up on the video or not. It might, might be actually good if I put a little kind of filter in between. Uh, you might actually see the three little LEDs in each LED on the strip. Hopefully this works. Let's see if we can get a line there. Anyway, so the touch control system is that if I give it a short touch and a long touch after that, immediately after that, it will actually dim the red channel. It, is, it doesn't really show up on the video that well. Anyhow, um, hopefully now. Well, you're going to have to take my word for that. Um, it does actually work, and uh, two touches and, and a long 
touch will will uh, dim the green channel and three short touches following by a long touch will dim the blue channel um, well that's pretty much it actually um, I might get back to you with an update with when I have a proper uh, RGB lead strip in my hands showing you these uh, coloring dimming, dimming options using the touch control system. Anyhow, until then, have a good one. Bye!